Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of Battleborn and today we start the story mission. It's quite a long intro on this one, so if you don't want to watch the intro just want to get straight into the gameplay, fast forward to about 7 minutes 50 and that's where the main gameplay starts. Hope you enjoy it, if you do please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's bring you up to speed, shall we? So, once upon a whole hell of a long time ago, the very first civilization in all the known universe carved an idea into a stone. <laughs> and this, of course, meant it was important. Their idea was about the end. According to the stone, a time would come when everything would disappear, including the very stars themselves. A vast darkness would devour the heavens. And after years of, let's call it the longest chain of very bad days ever, only one star would remain. All those capable would travel to this last star, fleeing the darkness and death throes of a dying universe. However, this gathering would not produce unity, but war. War among beings and civilizations and war against great foes, the Varelsi and the betrayer, Brendan. But the stone also speaks of hope. Champions who arise from the ashes of conflict. Those who, well, those who want to keep the lights on. And this is where you show up. From among these heroes, you will recruit a force forged in conflict. You will direct and train them, and through you, there is hope for light. This force will be the Battle Bowl. And for you, Commander, they will fight together or they will die alone. <laughs> if you believe stones, that is. Which brings us back to the star.
a trap. The natural order preserves so it lasts to dominate the resources. Feed off it. Then 20,000 years to keep walking. Then watch the rest seem to be clipped. Technology at their fingertips. Or attempt to escape red tape. Stick your nose in everybody's debate. Join the force and everybody's afraid. No need to be. You're welcome to join them. Follow the rules and regulations employed then. isn't it? You... Cleese on this mission. Ah, there you are. Just yeah. follow the waypoint I've uploaded. It should lead you straight into the gaping maw of death itself. <laughs> Thrilled to see you too, Melka. Given that today's mission is wildly dangerous, I'd recommend sinking with an LLC emergency yeah. transport beacon or checkpoint in Duffy Parlance. There's one close by. <laughs> Those M1 units. Defective units. Oh, how sloppy. Were I still in charge of robotics, I'd have someone's ass for this. Take them out just in case. Don't want any of those things phoning home and blowing the big surprise. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I want to 
try that again? tell you. Get this. It's DeAndy, spy master of the Generate Imperium. Ooh, I like this gun. Where'd you get it, Captain? It's a modded UPR machine pistol. Cleese's handiwork, actually. Yes, it's designed to work in conjunction with your horrific disfigurement. It's an Eldred bio gauntlet, Cleese. Uh, you say tomato, I say horrific disfigurement. Go on, <laughs> give it a try. Let me clear my schedule. I want to do that again. Bring me the spy mistress! Bring me the Andy! 
Let's get you out of here, Generous. Deandy will do just fine, actually. And you're Melchior. Nope, you're mistaken. My name is Pissed Off Eldred. Curiously, ah. Expecting some kind of space elf? An observer in the ceremonial duds? Well, gosh, I would have worn mine, but I lost them when the Generous swallowed my home star. No! <laughs> this is the bomb. Well, Melka goes eight. What is my on? But I promise you that was yes. degenerate, which is Rindane. Keep walking, Generate.
of an eventuality. And that's how you justify turning on your allies? Your friends? Well, yes, basically. I'm saving something rather than nothing. Wouldn't you do the same in my position? <laughs> Locker. I'm with him. The Andes are only hope of a shot at Rinde. 
And we only get that shot when he makes his play at the star. And until then, what's our plan? I mean, if we have a plan. We're gonna bust up the Imperium's operations around Solus. Buy ourselves as much time as we can, and rally support from the factions. Fortunately for us, they need all the help they can get. Blowing stuff up's working out good so far. I was thinking we'd do more of that. While we're in danger repairing the Heliophage, we'll help the other factions get back on their feet. We'll need them all behind us if we're gonna pull this off. The UPR's been taking heavy losses trying to reclaim their old settlements on Bliss. Admiral Bannon put out a call for assistance. We could start there. Word from the observatory is that Ekinar's crawling with generate harvest crews. We could disrupt their energy supply lines if we hit them hard. Tempest is more vulnerable than even Rindane realizes. It'll be dangerous, but they probably won't see us coming. So, we're not airlocking anybody? Shut up, Cleese. This is our last chance to save Solus. We must not fail. We won't. Uh, we might. Oh my god, shut up, please. Alright guys, I think we're going to stop there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate any contributions you guys want to make. And we'll catch you in the next one. And as always, take care.